Today, we will explore how to create a bricks breaker game from scratch using Flutter and Flame, two powerful frameworks for building mobile games. The bricks breaker game is an addictive game where the player controls a ball at the bottom of the screen and aim to break the bricks. The objective is to clear all the bricks from the screen using the ball. I started by creating a new Flutter app and updating the Bob Spec YAML file to add the Flame package. Next, I created the following folders inside the lib folder. Components, Managers, Utilities, and widgets. Inside the utilities folder, I created the file constants.dart. In this file, I created the constants that the app will use, like the ball radius, the color, brick color, brick font color, the number of bricks in a row, brick padding, and the start, continue, restart button colors. Inside the lib folder, I create the file bricksbreaker.dart. This will be the main flame game file. It will use collision detection and keyboard handler components. Next, I created the game manager file. In this file, I will keep track of the game score and the game state. It includes two methods to reset and increase the game score. Next, I created the game components. The board is a rectangular draggable component where the ball will bounce on its boundaries. The ball is a circular component with collisions callbacks. The brick is a position component with a rectangular hitbox and a text component to display its value. When the ball hit the bricks, its value will decrease until it reaches zero, and then we will remove the brick. I updated the bricks breaker to create the variables for the game manager, ball, and board components. Next, I updated the ball components. I created the required variables to create the dragging experience where the user will get an aiming indicator when they drag the ball. We used the ball state variable to determine when the user complete and release the dragging the ball so we can move it. I used the collision callbacks method to detect what object the ball collide with. When the ball collide with the board, we use the method reflect from board to determine the bouncing behavior of the ball. Reflect from break is used when the ball collide with a break. Here we check if it is a side reflection or a corner reflection. Then we use the correspondence methods to determine the bouncing behavior. The bouncing behavior will update the X direction and Y direction variables, which we use to move the ball. The user will be able to increase the speed of the ball using increase speed method. We also have a helper methods to reset the ball state and also to draw the aiming experience based on the aiming variables we identified above.
Next, I updated the board component. I created the variables required to enable dragging the ball. I also created the variables for determining the boundaries where the ball will be bouncing. The dragging callback will enable the dragging experience and update the ball state based on that. When the user completes the dragging and releases the ball, we will update the ball X direction and Y direction and then we will get the next position for the ball. Next, I updated the Bricks Breaker class to put all of this together. When the app load the class, we will add the game manager, set the ball priority, and add the board and ball components. We will also load the initial break layer. The user will be able to reset the game and start over using reset game method. The user will use toggle buzz state to buzz the game. We will have helper methods to help the game building the break layer. The game will update the break's position when the ball state is completed. In the update break's position method, we have the logic to determine if the game is over. Here we also have the logic to update the game score. Next, I created the app widgets. I started with the game button widget, which is a stateless widget that we will be using to display the buttons inside the game. Next, I created the game score widget. Here, I am using a value listenable builder to get the score from the game manager and display it in a text widget. Next, I created the game over, which I will use as an overlay for the game. When the game is over, the app will display this widget, which will show a game over message, the score, and will allow the user to restart the game. Next, I have the game buzz overlay. The app will display this widget when the user buzz the game. It will show the score and will have two buttons to allow resuming the game or restarting it. Then I created the game top bar widget. Here I am using a row to display three items. A button to buzz the game, the game score widget, and a button to speed up the ball. Next I created the game page dart file. This is a stateful widget and will be the main page of the app. Here I used a column to display the game top bar and the game widget. In the game widget, I have the game over overlay and the game buzz overlay. I then created the bricks breaker game dart file where I will have the material app with the home set as the game page. Finally, I updated the main dart file to use the bricks breaker game class. Now the code is complete. We run the app and we can see the game. We play the game by dragging the ball and aiming for the bricks. The bricks value decrease when the ball hit the brick. We can use the top bar to buzz the game and speed up the ball. The game is over when the bricks hit the bottom of the screen.